Hello and welcome back, folks. This is Chicago Ted coming to you with more of the Golden Aegis cast series. This matchup going to be taking place, or at least this replay, going to be the uh, matchup ID 164124970. So thank you to whoever donated for this one, and we'll be getting right onto this one. But real quick, if you guys are enjoying the replays thus far, you can go check out the description of this video. Or if you're watching live right down below, have your own replay casted. I greatly appreciate it if you really want to, too. I mean, it, it's pretty cool to have done anyway, so... Really, it's uh, it's a two-way street, double-edged sword. I'd appreciate it. I think it'd be fun to have done. And well, with that said, we'll continue going on into this replay done, and let's get moving. So, free camera. Oh, that doesn't work quite as well. We need to play first. Drop the free camera, and let's Everybody get on going. So. For the Dire team, this time around, it's going to be Ninjaneer on the Sniper with Food Stamps on the Bounty Hunter. Tron Cat playing the Winter Wyvern with Big Papa Bear on the Ember Spirit. And Box Tops playing the Legion Commander. Meanwhile, for the Radiant side, it's going to be Brax X X X X X X X X X X X on the Chaos Knight. We'll just call you Brax. Paul Tamil on the Crystal Maiden with Mr. Cursito on the Phantom Lancer and Miss Solange. Going to be playing the techies. So, this was an unranked all pick. 30 seconds to showtime. Getting through that early uh, kind of drafting stage. And with 30 seconds to go, Chaos Knight looks like he's making his way up towards the uh, top lane. It looks like maybe there's going to be a very aggressive Chaos Knight playing with a safe lane uh, Phantom Lancer. And, you know, I wouldn't put it past him for that one. I mean, that is a very potent combination to have. Having it in the different lanes, we'll have to see if that works out for them. But for the meantime, looks like Dire Box Top's going to go yeah, ahead and get go. the bottom rune. They're also going to get the top rune on Mr. Pop, Big Pop Bear. So the Dire getting both runes, a lot of gold going their way for the early game, and pretty much uncontested too. It didn't look like Radiant really had any real uh, ambition to go after these runes. And actually, an engineer, he sees the courier. Courier could go down here. That would be huge for the Dire, but it looks like. The courier will survive for the meantime. Ninja opting to go for the headshot first. Though if he had saved up, maybe gone for shrapnel, he probably would have gotten that uh, courier kill. Probably. Not for sure. Brax up in the top lane is going to have to be dealing with a hell of a lot of harass here. I don't think he can stay up in this lane for very much longer. Winter Wyvern and uh, Ember, Sp Ember Spirit are two very strong laners that, I mean, he ha if he gets within melee range, he just dies to that. He's got Paul Tamil with him, though, which helps out a lot. The Crystal Maiden will be able to protect him if things get a little hairy. But even then, they've, they're going to be dealing with a lot of harass over the course of this lane. They need to bring plenty of regen here. And it looks like Brax has started with almost nothing, bringing out what seems to be a bottle right now. But he might die even before this bottle. They go in, but they're not quite able to get the Searing Chains off. Even though he goes for the Sleight of Fist, misses it out. And now Brax will get himself away, but... Uses up all that bottle in the process. Meanwhile, Box Top's having a decent time in the off lane. I mean, Legion Commander should be doing pretty well versus something like a Phantom Lancer. I mean, just throws down the uh, the harass coming the way of the Overwhelming Oz. And, I mean, that's all you need to do. She does have that Arcana, too, which is one, one of my favorites. So, there is going to be another Searing Chains. It hits onto both Brax and Sax and Paul Tamil. And it does a decent amount of damage, even though at level 1 it ticks once, pretty much, but it ticks once for 80 damage, just about. It's pretty good. So it looks like as far as farm goes, Cosito's doing alright, but, I mean, surprisingly enough, uh, Brax is actually leading up with the 4 CS. With a top being that Ember Spirit on the 7. So the top lane is the one getting the most farm out of both, or out of all the lanes there. Kind of funny how that works out, doesn't it? But Mrs. Solange, uh, she doesn't look like she's mining really anywhere. Okay, so she's got the mines on the bottom rune spot. In fact, it's going to hit on the Turco. Is it going to be an. Oh, okay. The mine's not actually connecting on that, and Mr. Turco won't take too much damage off of it. Well, all right then. As far as mines go, though, where else is she mined? It doesn't look like anywhere else. Going for the stasis traps and the uh, landmines land begs the question whether or not there is much experience in the techies for this guy. Still, 
he'll continue to do it the way he wants to do it. Meanwhile, Pultamil and Brax, I think they want to get aggressive up here. They've got the Chaos Bolt, they've got the stun, the, um, the crit chance on the Brax, but it looks like they'll back themselves off just as quick. Having that cold embrace just makes it so damn hard for any real right clickers to move on in. You kind of need like more, more aggressive, aggressive nukes coming out for that kind of lane to work against something like a Winter Wyvern. Mr. Cosito will drop a Phantom Lance or a Spirit Lance out in the box tops. So they're doing pretty well as far as a CS goes and as far as Harass goes, but. I mean, it's it's not ideal, not great, and ultimately they seem to be having a tougher lane than most. I mean, Box Tops is doing better on CS than Mr. Cosito. That's that's a real problem. So this stands right now. No first bloods have come out just yet, but our Terrico seems like he wants to try to make something happen onto Ninjaneer. Gonna make his way to the top. It's only gonna be a. Uh, an illusion room, which by and large is not the best room for Pudge. However, he'll be happy Radiant's with the full bottle. Use a hand. Goes back towards mid. Bounty room will be on the bottom rune spot, though. Radiant's mid towers getting so, banged up. It's still a pretty uh, quiet early game so far. Big Papa Bear wants to try to dive on into this one, but he's got to be quite careful now. He's going 1-1-2, one, one, which is a decent build. I mean, he's going up against the Crystal Maiden, so I suppose dealing with the uh, the magical damage is a smart move here. A lot of the times, though, when facing up against something like a melee laner, Radiant maybe going for the extra points and do a searing chains is a lot is really useful. And I almost imagine maybe he'll go for the 414 build on this one, but Radiant's we'll have to see how exactly he wants to level shape. this one out. Miss Solange does end up getting a point into her suicide attack squad or suicide death squad, suicide squad attack. I had it right the first time, wrong order. That's just how it goes, isn't it? But it's going to be a rotation up top. Our Brax at least coming back to the lane. But they're still not quite able to make anything happen. A 1 1 1 on the Chaos Knight now. Radiance mid tower's coming apart. As 18 0 on Big Papa Bear. He's doing quite well on the CS so far. 21 CS, 5.5 minutes. Looking at the rest of the board, 8 CS is the next highest. So he's, he's really pulling ahead of the group right now. And that's going to show, coming in towards the mid-game, having the highest CS like that, having an extra item or two up on everyone is massive in the early game. So it's going to be someone to watch here on the uh, on the Ember Spirit. Our Turco, meanwhile, again, trying to find something, make something happen onto the Sniper. Might actually find a hook here if the Sniper is not careful. There were a couple periods in time where he may have been in a lot of trouble, but I think this is one of those games where Turco has to just force the issue and run straight out an engineer, but he's got to be careful of that happening. Where, you know, he gets under tower and takes much damage from the tower. There's assassin it flying out, but it's not going to be enough to kill. An engineer, though, still going to chase, though, Turco. If he can get a hook off, he's close to his ultimate. He may be able to find a return kill, but instead... Looks like maybe Tranquil Boots coming out for him. An interesting maneuver for that. An engineer's got a ward in the high ground, so he can definitely be aggressive, even though he can't quite see the pudge. And that's that's a really good thing to have. These high ground wards when you're dealing with a hero that relies so much on positioning and having the enemy not know where you are. So it's gonna be a pull in. Big Cobb Bear's in a little bit of trouble. They need to bring him down to get a cold embrace. They do not. Brax will find the first blood. And Big Papa Bear, the big pop farmer on the map. We'll end up going down attack. and giving it away. That's a very big kill for Brax and unfortunately a very big death for Big Papa Bear. So it's one to one right now. Seven and a half or seven minutes just about. And it looks like Brax, he wants to keep on going. Techie's committed suicide in the meantime, which is kind of funny, but... It means that technically the Dyer have given themselves a kill. And now there's a Searing Chains, but it's only still level 1. Again, he's going to max in the Flame Guard. Which means he's not quite able to do that much damage with between the uh, Sleight of Fist and the Searing Chains. So we're going to have to keep an eye out on that. Because it will definitely help come in a couple minutes from now. But for right now, it's not exactly what he needs from this. Dismember is on the way for Turco. And he could be uh, making a move on really quickly, but he's got to land that hook first. 
Trouble and it looks like Sniper is playing tower. this one pretty far back, playing it pretty safe and not letting the hook come through. In comes Miss Solange, though. Maybe looking to try to change that. Bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Our Turco, meanwhile, looking for a bottle of his own. He's going to go ahead and smoke up, come around the back lines, which is an interesting maneuver, Brilliant judging that he can't see it. Meanwhile, Box Tops will go ahead and get Mr. Cosito. And Pudge will reveal. So where the hell did our Phantom Lancer die? Uh, um, interesting. All right. It looks like in the top, though, it's going to be Tron. Cat goes down. Brax quite happy to get that kill. And Big Papa Bear also taking a pretty huge amount of damage from that. Now, Arturco being chased by Food Stamps. Gonna find himself a regen rune. And if Food Stamps goes for it, he could die here. Now, the hook pulls him back. Food Stamps may walk to the rune, though, and it looks like he will. And he'll go down, even despite getting the bounty rune. Or, sorry, the regen rune. He does get taken back a couple steps. And another hook is on the way for Arturco, though. I don't think he knew that Box Tops was up there. Though, Box Tops is going to walk over a couple mines, take a lot of damage from that. Turco trying to chase, but he's nowhere close. So, Box Tops will get himself away. Unfortunate positioning from him. Had he stayed or stuck around for just a little bit longer, he would have been able to grab that kill. The Dyer best do something about that bottom It looks tower. like he barely evades another mine in here. Dyer's bottom tower's getting the business. So right now we're three to two at nine and a half minutes. And Big Papa Bear's farm, since dying a couple times, has still been leading out the boards, but still a little bit slow right now. He's looking for at least another item or so, but I think he's all right with that right now, as no one else really is keeping up with him. Radiant's top towers. Braxlow comes on up. We'll take a look at net worth. He is top of the board. They'll pull back Brax, or Brax will pull back Tron, but hits himself with a cold embrace as Turco will bring down Sniper, but Tron still on the run. Brax still giving chase. He's got Chaos Bolt in two seconds, and Tron should go down one more attack, and it will be enough. So Brax grabbing another kill. He's 3-0, despite the lane being very difficult for him. It'll look like these guys will be just fine to go ahead and continue pushing up through this top lane. Meanwhile, uh, Box Tops and Food Stamps trying to do the same bottom. Just got the name synergy, by the way. Don't know why it took me that long. So Papa Bear will make his way back up top. Going for the Drums of Endurance. Now, it's a, it's been a pretty decent item. It's been a pretty common item on the Ember Spirit, so... Definitely available on many bills nowadays, and almost wonder why, what, what he's hoping to get out of these items. Now, he does get. Oh, he's gonna get frostbited up. Rack's gonna try to go pull him back, but won't be able to find it. And instead, Big Papa Bear is gonna go ahead, regen himself back up with the bottle. Maybe bring a TP out so he can TP back and remnant back in. But in comes Miss Launch, as well as Turco. They want to try to find two kills here. Their names, Papa Bear and Tron Cat. Can they find the hook, though? They're going to throw it. It's going to land on the big Papa Bear. Does he have a remnant out? He does. Or at least he throws it. Gets himself away twice on. And he will be fine, at least until Turco might throw another hook at him. But he is well far away. Now it turns around. Tron Cat, they'll get the dismember off onto him. Papa Bear's got to be careful, though, because he can turn and hook, and he will. Tron Cat with a cold embrace won't save him. Maybe it will. The uh, chaos, the curse of, well, Winter's Curse, rather. But Tron Kit Cat will still go down. Tripping over the words here, but the, the, the meaning's still the same. A double kill happens in the top lane, and Big Papa Bear turns around to give a kill that maybe could have been avoided here. The bottom lane, Box Tops and Food Stamps are still continuing to push. And they should be able to bring down this Tier 1 tower within pretty decent amount of time. 12 and a half minutes looking at a for the Tier tower. 1. Not terrible. You know the drill. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. And so, the Dyer seem to be falling the a Dyer little bit behind in this behind early game, though their tower. off lane is doing quite well. But as far as the, uh, the Gravs go, 1,500 for the Radiant and Gold, about 500 for experience. All said and done, 12 and a half minutes in, those aren't very substantial leads, but a lead's a lead nonetheless. Turco's going to go in, throws the hook, leads it off correctly, gets this member off, and an Engineer will be brought to down. Pudge quite happy, throws it on his, uh, 
his deli board there. Crow hook comes out from Tron Cat. Just a little bit of lead is all it takes to go a long way. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Looks like Mr. Lange wants to maybe get a duel onto, uh, or sorry, uh, Suicide. Can the duel come off, though? It looks like they will get it. But the duel just after the duel ends. Very unfortunate. But they still get the kill regardless, so not terrible. Meanwhile, Rax and uh, Paul Tamil pushing down the top tier one. So it won't be a trade of tier ones. Rather, box tops and food stamps. Going to try to continue pushing out, but Dyer's rather unsuccessfully. Top tower. Big Papa Bear, meanwhile, going to try to push out. Now, this is where having Flame Guard maxed out does come in handy. You can jungle out quite easily, as you see. Kind of like a mini Radiance. Just go ahead, destroy these uh, creep camps, and, I mean, that's all That's all you need to do. So, meanwhile, Miss Solange comes back bottom with Mr. Cosito. They'll have another duel up in one second. And they might spend it on Cosito. They will. Can they kill him this time? They've got everything they need to. And they get him down. So the first duel win could box tops. Go in the way. 14 minutes in. Not terrible. Turco, though, looking for a hook. Though they're far enough away that he probably won't be able to land it. And a bit of a bit salt coming out from Turco, I guess. Not sure why. <laughs> Not sure at all, but they get their dual win, so I guess they're happy with that. Tarko's got the Tranquil Boots in the bottle, so he's going to be able to keep himself regen quite a bit throughout this lane, or throughout this game. The Tranquil is helping with his HP. Crystal Maiden helping with the bottle. Now Box Tops on the run. They get a three-second stun from the Chaos Bolt. Out with the Shuriken. Do they have the hook? The hook is not going to land. Where is the leadoff that he got perfectly just not too long ago? Instead, throws it a little bit short. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. Still has 2k gold to his name though. Looks like a TP comes in from Ninjaneer. Maybe he can try again to try to find a kill. He still has full mana, so throwing out a hook and a dismember wouldn't be too hard for him. Instead, it looks like the tower will remain up. No one will die. Radiant top tower. Terco actually shape. looks like he wants to change that. He finds Bok Tops. One hook is all it's going to take, and he'll bring him in, chop him up, and send him to the Butcher. I guess he's the Butcher, so. Not send him, uh, but you get the picture. Pudge grabs another kill, and 9-4 to four is what it turns out to be. The Dyer falling a little bit behind. Paul Tamil will try to chase down to Winter Wyvern. Has Freezing Field, so if he gets a Frostbite in a Freezing Field, maybe he can just grab a solo kill here, but Wyvern far enough away that he doesn't end up being able to find the range for it. Where's our Ember Spirit, by the way? Has since fallen off the top spot on the CS board, or at, on the, uh, the Nut Wars chart, but he's doing pretty well regardless. 0-2, but 70 last hits, not terrible. He's got the phase, the drums, the bottle. Almost imagine he's going for that uh, Battle Fury now that he's got the Quelling Blade, but we'll have to see where he goes next. As for right now, he's just going to farm up, try to play as passively as possible, and get those items out in a pretty decent amount of time. Turco, though, is going to go for the haste room. Back behind, finds an engineer. Dismember out. Shuriken can cancel, and it will. He throws a hook, but it will miss. And now a duel. Turco will be brought down. The FDA not quite approving of his butcher practices. Brax continuing to chase into Big Papa Bear, but he gets the remnant out, and he's away to safety. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Either way, Brax will find his power treads. What else does he have right now? I mean, he's got the armlet. Just getting the power treads. He's looking pretty farmed right now. Having illusions with that armlet is just incredible in the early game. And he might actually want to bring down Tron Cap. Ultimate's there as well. They'll start going in a four-second stun. And they just bring him down without an eye or a leg batted about it. I'll set you bouncing on Armageddon's flank. So, Engineer and Box Tops down the bottom looking for that duel that they can get off. He's already gotten two duel wins on the Legion Commanders. 20 damage. Maybe wants more. Turco revealing himself. Box Tops uh, will spot him out, but I think neither one wants to initiate on the other. At least not yet. They're kind of maneuvering around, though. It looks like they want to try to make something happen. At least that's a dire. Couple mines by the tier 1 tower though means they have to be very careful. Turco goes tower, into the side lane, wants an engineer, wants food stamps, wants someone. If he can throw the hook, he'll find someone. Just this line is all he'll Dyer's need. He throws it out, finds an engineer, will go in for the dismember and grabs the sniper. 
another quick and easy kill for the Pudge. Meanwhile in the mid, it looks like this tower taking a lot of damage. Was that the, uh, looks like the, um, the Phantasm was used. Does it have the armlet buff on it? Does not, so Phantasm, no armlet. He's gonna chase him to Tron Cat. Can he find the, uh, the Reality Rift? It looks like he'll get just within range, pulls him back, and slaps him silly. Our Turco gonna find Food Sands, pulls him into the jungle as well, and another quick kill for the Pudge. Meanwhile, Box Toss might be in a little bit of trouble. Mr. Cresito is coming into this one. Brax is there as well. They pull him back. Three seconds stun and another kill. A 4-0 is what it ends up being in the end. Big Papa Bear, meanwhile, trying to farm what he can. He is going for that Battle Fury, as mentioned. Picking up the Ring of Health, but not much else. And it's going to take a while for him to be able to afford that right now. 18 and a half minutes in, he still is about... 20, 2600 plus the 875 minus 400 from the ring of health so I almost want to say about 3k plus gold away from it Brax meanwhile with the help of Mr. Cursito will bring down the bottom tier 1 tower only last tier 1 tower left standing too on the dire side of the map so they now only have to go for either tier 2's Roshan's or you know stick pack and farm it up to grab their gold Box Tops, meanwhile, looks to be running pretty much headlong into the entirety of the Radiant team. Going towards the mid to farm, but I'm not quite sure if he'll be able to do so safely. They'll pull him back with a Reality Rift. They get him with a Spirit Lance. Nothing much else said about it. Our Tarka will come in and go to the one slap chop. The skilled slice of the Pudge. And so, Food Stamps will make his way in from the side. But I'm not sure what he'll be able to do to this alone. Instead, just walks around Arterico, finds Big Papa Bear, but he gets the Remnant out of there all the way back up north and finally finishes up his Perseverance. But he's still got a long way to go before that Battle Fury is ready. And even if it is ready, there's a lot that he needs to do to win this game. Bottom tower seem better Though it makes it much better that the Battle Fury comes out when they've got a PL and a Chaos Knight on the field. Because that gives them a more a, be a better chance of dealing a whole Radiant lot of damage in short, a small towers. area, but... Food Stamp's gonna chase him to Mr. Cresito. Does he have level 60? Yeah, he's level 9. He'll go for the track onto the PL, but that's all he can do right now. Paul Tamil and Brax make their way in. They know that a bounty hunter was on the high ground, so they start to move up. They'll go for the, re the reality rift on the box tops, though. And they bring him down in no time at all. He'll throw out the overwhelming odds, but press the attack not fast enough. The hook will end his life. Meanwhile, Ember Spirit up towards the top lane. will continue to try to farm up. He's now sitting at about 2,200 gold away, which is not terrible. But the Radiant have a pretty clear-cut advantage going into this one right now. They've got 7,500 net worth advantage. Experience, just about 5,000. So I guess not as clear-cut. It's still pretty shallow for a 22-minute game. But, again, an advantage is an advantage. And I think they can definitely win the next couple of fights if executed correctly. Big Papa Bear, though, is doing exactly what he needs to do. Just sit back, farm up other parts of the lane, or other parts of the map, and won't last hope longer. that uh, Parch doesn't get a good blink dismember on him to make keep him from uh, remnanting out. Looks like Mr. Cosito wants to try to find a kill. Ninja Nier pulled, pulled way back. They've got the dismember. They'll bring him down. Cosito's dead, though. Maybe that'll be the return kill they need. Box Tops also will go ahead and bring down Brax. A freezing field, though, to secure the kill onto Food Stamps and Box Tops as they both go down. Four for one. Four for two is what it ends up being in the end. And a couple of really, really good kills for the Radiant there. Dyer not really pulling that much out of this game. Now, of course, again, you've got this farming Ember Spirit, but still no Battle Fury. I imagine yeah, maybe within the next six to ten now. minutes he'll have it, but in the meantime, we'll go back to the jungle, try to farm up in the jungle a little bit, and hope that no one catches him out. Meanwhile, this Pudge, with a Blink Dagger, going for an Aghanim Scepter almost immediately. And though it's decent in the early game, it really, really gets better when he gets a total ton of strength stacks on him. So right now, it's okay. 
but it could definitely be better. Hook comes out, big Papa Bear. They will, this member won't land, though, as an immediate replicate out. And this is the benefit of having this sort of hero with that ability to do that. Like, it doesn't take any time to replicate. You just, you cast it, and you're out. And I guess it's really bugging Turco right now, as he really wants to be able to bring down that, uh, that Ember Spirit. But doing so is hard whenever he's got the replicate available. So Brax and Mr. Cosito will go ahead and tag team push down mid. This is the kind of push that you wish you had the Battle Fury for because of all that cleave going through between the illusions, the main heroes, just doing a whole ton of damage. Tron is going to go and try to split push out the bottom and doing a pretty decent job at it. He's got the Soul Ring, he's got the Tranquil Boots, and now with a Cloak. I wonder where he's going from now. Probably going for that Glimmer Cape, being able to go in for the Cold Embrace, the Glimmer Cape, and pretty much keep anyone from getting attacked at all for a short duration of time. But the Radiant will make their push known up top where they can bring down a tier two without much trouble. Unfortunately, they might end up having to trade or at least trade some damage. Ah, nope, tier two's gonna drop really quickly up top, so it's already gone. And Wyvern still just kinda working, picking away at the bottom, uh, bottom tier two. Terrico? He's rocking like a ring around the rosy with food stamps. Radiant as it stands right now. Oh, what's man. this? Box top. He's going to go for a dual win. He's going to get plenty of um, moment of courage is out, but it's not going to be enough to get the dual win. In fact, he's actually going to go down. Both him and food stamps go down in that one. Now, they do actually get Mr. Cosito in the end, but it's a two for one. Meanwhile, Waver and still making do with this tower. Isn't able to bring it down in the end, but still pushing, still trying. Are they even moving anyone else to defend this? They're just kind of letting him do this. He's got to be careful, though. He's got no TP out, so if he drops here, he's in a lot of trouble. Puts himself up with the Arctic Burn. Gives himself some bonus damage range, but... Radiant's bottom tower That's about it. He should bring down this tower, but I think he's going to die in the process. No, he's just going to straight up die. Brax comes in for a second stun. Enough time to wail on him. They throw the hook for good measure, and the Winter Wyvern becomes barbecue. So the Dire forced to just try to defend and farm up in the very small area that they've got. A bottled up double damage rune on the Ember Spirit is definitely a plus, but they've got to be able to use it. And right now, I mean, he's still looking for that Battle Fury. It's still pretty far away from it, though. 400 gold, I guess. Not the worst. And as it stands right now, he'll be able to farm a couple of creep camps pretty quickly. Yellow making his way up. Does he have a replicate out? He uh, remnant out. He does indeed. So he'll make his way back a hundred gold away from that battle fury. Food stamps though, gonna spot out onto uh, Turco. They have food stamps and box tops there, but the hook will connect. Food stamps is close by though, so I don't think he just kills box tops. But he's gonna, sure as hell gonna try. Shuriken toss comes out, come not dealing a hell of a lot of damage. So I guess. That is really not working out the way they want it to. Box Top's going to back himself away. Do they have a hook to bring him all back? Doesn't look like they have a is in with a Frostbite. There's a Cold Embrace as well. Goes for the Freezing Field, but get canceled immediately. Now Winter's Curse comes out, and Box Top, he's looking for a duel on the Paltomiel. He'll get it off, but he'll end up losing it. No, he wins just barely. He'll die in the end, but Big Papa Bear's there as well. He's going to bring down Mr. Cosito. The uh, Ember Spirit doing quite well. We'll bring down Mr. Solandra. At least try to. He's still under double damage. Takes a little bit of damage from the landmine, but that's about it. Meanwhile, Brax is going to go ahead and push the bottom tier 2 tower, but... That was a very good fight for the Radiant. Or for the Dyer, rather. The first fight with the Battle Fury. Big Papa Bear ends up getting himself a kill. And almost completely turning that fight on its head. Oh, he still let the techies get away, and Brax was not there. It still is a step in the right direction. So, Radiant will regroup, go back to pushing down mid. But it's going to be trouble. They make their way up for the Ember Spirit. He does have a remnant out again. He gets away, Turco! just does not have the timing he required to go for that. So, 
Unfortunately for him, he's just got to sit down and figure out how he needs to kill this uh, Ember Spear. Because obviously what's going on right now isn't working out for him. And it's very hard, by the way, to kill an Ember Spear like that. Very, very difficult. He is going to be going for that second battle fury right now, which I almost have to agree is the, the better item for him. It's going to make it really hard for these illusions to stay standing and for anyone to stand around the illusions, regardless. And Brax taking a little bit of damage from the overwhelming odds, but only a little bit. Meanwhile, Big Papa Bear farming up the jungle again. He's got that battle for he can try to farm up as fast as possible, but I think if he wants to find anywhere to farm, he either has to push out the bottom lane or they have to stack their ancients for him because right now their jungle is pretty much, you know, out of their control. At least when the Radiant's up and alive. You can see Techie starting to drop some mines up on the high ground. Looks like that's one mine stack, but Food Stamp's going to go ahead and get hit by the... Oh, uh, no, the Stasis Trap actually not activating there. Meanwhile, Track comes out, but Turco, they've got the hook, pulls him back in, but they don't continue with the Rot. He could definitely kill with the Rot. Tron Cat, meanwhile... Is up in the in the jungle. We'll go into Glimmer Cape. Arctic burns out. Starts dropping some damage on a turtle, but immediately a dismember comes out. Brax will go in for him as well. Three seconds stun. And though an engineer can try to do what damage he can, it's just not gonna be a lot. Meanwhile, Ember Spirit. He is ending up pushing out the bottom lane, so his remnant, meanwhile, is close to the tower. So he'll bring all the way back and now he goes through the defense with the team. You remember, he has that battle for you ready to go. There are lots of illusions, lots of illusions that he can cleave off of. And he'll start going for it. Look at all the damage that he's able to do just immediately. And Brax taking so much. It looks like he'll lose a duel here. Big Papa Bear getting himself away right at the same time. This member not bringing him down all the way. Turco now turning around, getting the rod off, trying to bring down box tops. Will be able to do so, but Turco could indeed himself die. They get the remnant out. Can they get it? Oh, he gets his blink out just in time. So Big Papa Bear, though, still getting a couple of really decent kills. In fact, he's still going to go for it, but he dies to the mines. And just what I said, I mean... Losing this much base control. Radiant that kind of thing opens up to being is happening. Right Though Ember Spirit has done, done a great job Have coming back in this game. He's just not, not invincible. So he can't just run around with, with the techies in the field and expect not to blow up. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. So very well placed mines from the techies. And Big Papa Bear has got to be a lot more careful of that from this point on. A hook will fly out, hits on the Tron Cat, right outside his base, but it doesn't really matter. He gets the kill anyway. And again, with that Agon Scepter, doing pretty well with his ultimate. And that'll be an extra 19 strength stolen, or 19 flesh heap stacks, so an additional 48 strength uh, added to his giant pile of meat that he calls a body. So, meanwhile... Uh, Big Papa Bear does come back into this game. Now, he's got 900 gold, so working towards that second Battle Fury. And you saw how much damage came out from the cleave of one Battle Fury? Well, imagine two. It's pretty ridiculous. Sleight of Fist adding an extra 80 damage to each hero, uh, for each attack on a hero. And correct with me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the, um, the illusions count as heroes. Looks like Box Tops in a lot of trouble up on the high ground. Maybe taking this concession to a heart. Not sure what they were doing up there, but definitely not looking to try to find a kill. Meanwhile, Big Papa Bear is fighting for every inch and nail that he can to bring this game to a win. Gotta be careful when he remnants back, though. He's remnants back in a pretty uh, precarious position here. and He's going to go into Brax. Gets out with a sleight of fist. Maybe, maybe getting a little too aggressive here. Throws out into his flame guard. The assassinate comes out, but isn't quite enough to bring him down. And even that though Big Papa Bear getting, getting really aggressive on this one, doesn't get brought down. In fact, doesn't get punished at all for the maneuver he just pulled. Rather, he's still doing some pretty decent Guess damage between the sleight of fists here. Tower. 
And so, Radiant will begin their push on it, doing what they can. He's going to have to replicate back or remnant back. Turco doing a lot here, but there are illusions ready to be blown to bits. And though, I mean, I guess one illusion is what it ends up being. That was a Manta Styles, not the full-on, you know, assault of Metamorphosis, or sorry, um, Phantasm. So Big Pop Bear is actually going to get the kill on the Chaos Knight. Meanwhile, Box Top's getting stunned on the top lane. Our Turco goes in. Throws the hook, but misses it out completely. And now, looks like maybe the Dyer want to go ahead and make him pay for that. But they can't quite do so. A splinter shot will fly out. Hits in the Palto meal. Meanwhile, Big Papa Bear healing up completely. Only about 500 gold away from that second Battle Fury. And already doing immense work with the first one. Just goes to show you how dangerous pushing into an Ember Spirit with Battle Fury. Having all these mass illusions can be. So he's doing a good job at keeping this one within reach for them, but he's got to have a whole team behind him to make it work successfully. And so, I mean, they've got to have full uh, cooperation from the Legion commander, you know, giving plenty of space to the sniper as well, who needs to farm just as efficiently, if not more, to get where he needs to be. So Big Papa Bear about to have that second battle fury. Could go anywhere from there, though. I think the, the typical idea would be to go for that Daedalus and maybe get some crits on top of your cleave. Because at some point, I mean, cleave only gives you so much, crits give you more. It's, it's weird. you got to balance out what gives you the most damage at, at a certain time. And, and so, what, two Battle Furies ready to go for the Ember Spirit. The box tops won't be available for the next fight for, you know, obvious reasons. Pressing ceremonial reasons. Looks like, uh... Dyer just going to have to wait for this one. Wait for Radiant to push in, and then maybe go for another base defense. Keeping the T going, though, by the way. For those of you who, if you're watching the video, just know that this has been, uh, this is a game after about a 10-hour day of casting, so... The only thing keeping me alive right now is the sweet, sweet nectar of tea and honey. And I will plug for days any tea company that wants to sponsor me. Days. Years, even. Millennia, I don't know. Love this stuff. Anyway, Raxax is going to be uh, hit by the Winter's Curse. It's actually a Paltermule that's hit by it, but leading them up the high ground. They might both die. Tron's actually going to go down. No, they don't blow him up completely. Tron will go and grab the kill. Very unfortunate, though it is ending up being a one-for-one. -one. And our Pudge has disconnected from the game. That's also pretty unfortunate right here. This is kind of what you want to be seeing, though, when you've, got a, when you've got a hard carry like this. Like, even if you fall super far behind, if your hard carry is doing the best on the net worth chart, then, you're obvi then he's obviously doing something right. And, I mean, this is the power of an Ember Spirit, too. Like, a lot of times, he is a very weak hero, and there are many ways to build him, but not everyone works, and not everything works all the time, and oh, oh, okay. Looks like the majority of the Dire team may have already given up, but... <laughs> what kind of tea? What kind of tea? I'd tell you, but I'd rather let a, a, a tea company sponsor me so that their name could be here. See? Th that, that's how you work the system, guys. If you, if you want to know how to make, like, pennies, you, you got to know this system. In all seriousness, though, I think I'm, uh, I'm drinking some Twinings Apple Spice Chai or whatever. It's good stuff. Though I am a big fan of Loose Leaf. When you're casting back, it's is very good, very helpful. Tron, they've got the, uh, the pull in, Reality Rift, but... He's got Glimmer Cape ready to go. Now they're going to stun him out. Three second stun, and this is probably as good as dead for him. In comes Legion Commander, drops down with the overwhelming odds. Pudge with one minute left to reconnect. So Dire, so far they're mounting a pretty successful defense. And I've casted techies all day, but... As far as base defense goes, turtling goes, you know, Ember Spirit was the original turtle. Okay, there were lots of original turtles, but Ember Spirit was one of my favorites. 
Love to play this guy. He is one of my favorite heroes and of all time. And we're seeing him played pretty well right now. He's going to be going for that Crystallis soon. And looking to hold. I mean, they haven't lost a tier 3 yet, though they should lose it in the next push, despite how well it goes. I mean, all they got to do is walk up and attack it twice. Miss Solange is actually doing a great job, by the way, of getting some really defensive or aggressively defensive wards out. Because what happens if they win a push or if they, um, they lose a push and Dyer starts pulling ahead? If they start chasing him out, I mean, that's all it takes. They just immediately get taken away because they, they get blown up. And just look at this. Box tops, imagine there were like 30 mines here then Someone's that would all go away. So a disconnect from Pudge and abandon. Troncat's going to do the same. Unfortunate for the dire team. Bounty Hunter's going to do the same. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Dire. I mean, this game was sent in to me. So at this point, you can kind of assume what's about to happen. But we won't go there. We're gonna go in. A blink up from Box Top. He's gonna go in looking for a duel. But that's about it. That's all he can do. Meanwhile, Big Papa Bear. He's about to have a massive influx of gold really soon. Yeah, there it is. Look at all that that he's getting. I mean, that's, that's triple. That's about triple. Double or triple what you normally get. Imagine that. An Ember Spirit who does a massive amount with farm now getting double the passive farm as well as constant waves pushing in. This is scary for the dire to, for the Radiant team. Although they might not know it yet. So have they given up on their Pudge and sold all of his stuff? I hope not. No, they have not. So if Pudge does reconnect to the game by some miracle, he will have all of his items ready to go. I mean, he's doing pretty well right now too. Prax. Dropping so low to what I can almost imagine was Roshan. Cosito also taking a pretty huge amount of damage from it, but it looks like they'll finally bring him down. Roshan Big guy gives up his prize. The radiant done the deed. This will come in handy. Immortality. Jack Pudge? Oh yeah, that's his net worth. That's what he's got from his inventory. They already sold Bounty Hunter and uh, Winter Wyver and stuff. So they're out of this game now. They're, they're gone. Doesn't matter what they do now. It looks like because of that... A Daedalus has been completed on Big Papa Bear. Full-on Daedalus for him. <gasps> Meanwhile, Techies goes for Bloodstone. I don't like this item, guys. I really don't. I prefer the Octarine Core always. I just don't see the Bloodstones, the purpose of the Bloodstone on Techies. But you could argue with me if you, uh, as much as you want. It's just my, uh, my way of looking at things, so... One Daedalus done. Ember Spirit going to be going for that second Crystallis. And what that's going to give is a huge amount of this pushing potential as well as a counter push. I mean, you don't push into an Ember Spirit with that. You might be able to kill him. And boy, do they have what it takes to kill him. But they got to lock him down first. And he's always going to be sitting on the back of the fight, throwing the Sight of Fists out and attacking that way. He's never really going to be at the start of the fight until you've all gotten very low. Box Toss, meanwhile, being trapped in the corner, will be brought down. So he's out of the game for 60 seconds. Meanwhile, Ember Spirit has come back into the fray, but very afraid of what's to come. And it looks like... Uh, look at the damage coming out already. Dropping pretty low, but it looks like uh, Sniper, the one to get uber aggressive about this. And look at that! Big Papa Bear goes and rips apart the Crystal Maiden. Very brutal assault coming on from the uh, from the Ember Spirit there. And he gets a decent chunk of change from that one. I mean, even the Crystal Maiden gives up 600 gold. You can tell, by the way, the, uh, the difference in net worth. 2,000. Or 20,000, rather. 20,000 difference in net worth. Equates to a lot of gold being given up if anyone dies. If the PL dies, he gives up easily 800 gold. Just, just by principle. Now, a remnant out from Big Papa Bear because he knows he has to. And he'll go back in. Now these are all the illusions. They'll just bring him down. Brax gets immediately annihilated. Big Papa Bear though, he has a remnant back. He does have a remnant. He'll send it out now. And Mr. Cosito, he will also drop. Miss Solange trying to run away, but they've got the duel out and they'll bring down the techies. 
763 goal going his way. Kilinir, 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 will go down. Big, big Papa Bear goes out with the big Papa Cleave. And will do a massive amount of damage so far. And that's a held base. I mean, just fantastic. Fantastic from this Ember Spirit. Fantastic from everyone, really. That duel on the techies was really good, too. Duel being one of those spells that's just like, screw you, techies. I know you want a suicide. I'm not giving you that opportunity. And if, this is almost one of those cases where I may just say, you know, grab an Ags just to make sure that he dies. Though I'm, I'm actually 100% against Ags, so don't actually take that seriously. But making sure techies cannot get the suicide off is important. Really important. Because every time he suicides, not only doesn't get that damage off, which is very pretty good. But you're also keeping him from having that low cooldown timer on him. So Mr. Cosita is actually going to walk over the mines. I don't think it does a whole lot of damage right now. Goes in for the Sight of Fist into the uh, Searing Chain. As I am actually able to get it off now. Remnants himself back. And just in time too. These mines really could have been the death of him if he wasn't careful. So, Big Papa Bear. Still holding on. Still doing well. But it is a very tough. It's an uphill battle for him. And so, he wants to make his move onto Mr. Cosito. Potentially deal some pretty heavy damage to him. He goes on in, but not a lot to the main hero. Mostly clears out the illusions. But Cosito may want to turn around and try to fight this. Probably not the best idea. Realize that, backs himself away. Has a bounty rune to his name, though. And now a harder to risk on that Phantom Lancer. Kind of an awkward item for him. And Big Papa Bear will make his move around the bend. But walks over mines if he's not careful. And nope, he'll make the turn around. It's Solange and Latro. They'll go for the duel. And again, no suicide for the techies. 617 gold just for a techies. He's the middle of the net worth on his team. Oh, and by the way, they did give up on the uh, on the Pudge, by the way. They sold all of his items. Rather unfortunate, but... Oh, man, this, this, this map, so many mines. Box Tops is in a lot of trouble here. He's just going to get brought down. Once again, almost the same story, same spot on the map. Getting caught out of position by Brax and Brax and company. And he's, I mean, he's got to stop doing that. At this point, a 2v4 sucks. 3v4 still sucks, but it's not as bad as going in 2v4. 100% of the time, not as bad. Ember Spirit, though, finishes up that data list. So we'll have to see just how much he can get out of this one. About 300 CS at 46 minutes, but without being able to leave his base, it's not too terrible. Mr. Crocito now pushes his way in. Axe, axe, axe. Up to the high ground. Now, when he pops his Phantasm, there's a pretty pivotal moment in this one. Big Papa Bear. They've got the BKB. Papa Bear will get brought in. But it looks like he's got the Remnant out if he wants it. No, it's too close. He gets in, though. Cosito's in a lot of trouble. He's chasing out onto the um, Ninja Nier, and he'll finally get brought down. Ember Spirit. All right to take him out. He says, you want to pick with my sniper? Well, you might kill him, but I'm going to take, I'm going to take you down. So, goes in for more, wants Brax. The damage is just so much. Gets him with the uh, Searing Chains and will take him out. Paul Tamil on the run, but the Remnant flies out. All he needs is Slight Searing Chains, but he isn't able to get it. Another Remnant forward. Another Slight of Fist will be coming out soon. Do they know where he is? The Shadow Blade proving to be a little bit too much. They lose both their mid racks. But Big Papa Bear, able to hold for the most part their actual game. Bringing down a couple of kills here and there. How much did he get for the Phantom Lancer? I, I didn't take a look. Yeah. Okay, 759 gold just for a killing spree. The Golden XP advantage though has been cut significantly, so it won't be just as a it won't be as crazy as it was not too long ago, but still a lot of gold and experience to be given to the dire team each time they win a fight. 
Big Papa Bear already level four. We can take a look at the hero level. So, and yeah, he's the top of the hero level board right now. 24, the next highest being 22. No one has buybacks, which is kind of interesting. But net worth, Ember Spirit as well, being at the top of the board. Interesting thing to note. Both uh, Sniper and Legion Commander are still at the bottom of the board, despite having all this extra gold coming into them. Big Papa Bear is the one absorbing all the kills, the one getting all of the CS. And really, the one just doing most of the work. I won't discount box tops yet. I mean, these duels have been pretty clutch, especially with the ones on the techies. And Engineer is just that kind of straight face damage from the back lines that will help them win the fights, even when the uh, Ember Spirit isn't quite able to do it solo. But, I mean, when you're talking heavy lifting, you're talking the Ember Spirit. Uh, was that... Was, I imagine this said something before. But... Oh, I imagine this... Oh, God. Come on. Regardless, Radiant are going to try for another push here. And the Dyer will have to see if they can hold this one. <laughs> the Sniper will just go for mass observers and sentries. Actually, it grabs four of each kind, so I guess it doesn't... It isn't mass just yet, but... Shrapnel! Goes up the Shrapnel. We'll go for the defense in the bottom lane. It looks like Radiant are going to go ahead and try to split push this one. A smart maneuver, given that they're so far ahead and they've got so many units compared to what the... Uh, what the Dyer have to defend. Split their resources and try to take them down in that regard, I guess, is, uh, is the play here, but... It's going to be a very slow process, and almost a very draining process from the Dyer. They cannot make any mistakes from the here on out. And it looks like the siege will commence. Ninja pa Big Papa Bear going on to the top, trying to bring down Mr. Cosito. There are plenty of, um, you know, illusions from the cleave off, but Cosito is actually far enough away from them. He's going to go into Cosito doing a ton of damage, and he'll bring them down. Meanwhile, a duel on the Miss Solange. They've got a whole lot of units down bottom, though. And can uh, Big Papa Bear get down there in time to pr uh, prevent this from all going down? Looks like he'll have to go down at about half HP, but all that's left are illusions. So he'll go ahead, bring down the illusions, and that'll be it. They hold their base again. But this sort of split pushing is going to be the end of them if it continues on this way. And really, I think the Dyer, they need to start forcing things. It's going to be hard for them to do that, though. But it looks like a Rapier will be coming out from Big Papa Bear. Hopefully, that's exactly what they need from this game. Going into hiding. And this brings back memories of many, many Ember Spirit games I've seen before. So... As a slow siege had ended before, well, it turned into a full-on siege that got completely and utterly stopped. Brax will make his way up top. But really, Engineer and Box Tops are looking for the defense here. Big Papa Bear is hanging out in the fountain, making sure he's topped off and ready for this one. And the only push that's coming from is from the top lane. Paltamil, meanwhile, made his way in. It looks like they'll stop for this. Let the creeps do most of the work. No, Brax gets close to the wave. He's got to be careful. They're going to come on in. Brax in a lot of trouble. They get the searing chase on both of them. Now the duel into Brax. They bring him down. Freezing field, but it's not going to do Jack. And just like that, they grab a couple of really, really incredible kills. So Big Papa Bear will make his way back to the Fallon again to top it off. Trying to buy a boost of travel, it seems like, but... uh. <laughs> Maybe just a little short for that. Yes, top racks is in trouble. So he'll go ahead right back to farming. I mean, all it took was one cleave. All those creeps just died. <laughs> Incredible amounts of damage coming out from this Ember Spirit. I'm, I'm, I'm floored. And we're looking at a Legion Commander 2 with about 100 CS. Or 100 damage from duels, rather. And 384 CS on the Ember Spirit. Do any of them have buyback? It doesn't look like it either. So zero buybacks on the board.
Though I guess three of them are pretty much give me's. And so, Cosito will start to push out the bottom lane. But as it stands right now, I mean, the Radiant are going to start struggling to find their pushes. Whole lot of mines in the mid lane, though. Just a scatter of them. No, no real organization, no real care in it. Just, you know, scattering mines everywhere. Because, you know, why not? Big Power Bear has got to be careful. He goes down. He drops an Aegis. Four mines could be enough to... Oh, my God. He just gets himself straight on back. That must have made his heart stop right there. It made my heart stop. Things like that just proved to be way, way too much for him. So he'll get back to Fountain, top himself back off. And we wait again. 53 minutes into this game. 40 to 26 is the score. And box tops. They sway up. Maybe looking for a duel. Finds it on the Mr. Cosito. Not quite doing enough damage, but in comes the Ember Spirit. 1920 on that crit. And that's 1053 gold for just a straight up kill. That's 1000 gold for just a regular kill. I. Holy shit. That's a lot of gold. I can almost imagine, only imagine what Big Papa Bear must give if he were to die. Has to be a huge, huge amount. Anyway, makes his way back towards the mid lane. Would probably want to try to find more here, just farming up right now. Has to be careful of this, though. These mines are enough to kill him. I mean, they are level 3 Aghanim's mines, right? Yep, they're more than enough to kill him. He's kind of uh, alone right now. AFK, but turning around and just dealing some serious damage out. Completely destroying the, uh, the Chaos Knight. And it looks like Miss Solange may have been trying to find a suicide. But a little late on the cast there. Now our freezing field and engineer in a little bit of trouble. He'll go down to a solo crystal maiden. But Big Papa Bear doing a hell of a lot in that one. Having 3,000 net worth or 3,000 gold in his inventory right now. It's almost one of those things that may be having a uh, second divine rapier instead of uh, one of your Daedalus or one of your battle furies might be beneficial, but. We'll have to see where he decides to go for. 1897 is what he ends up critting for. Just an immense, immense amount of damage. He's, his bonus damage is almost as if he had two rapiers. I mean, you get 81 from each of the data lie. You get, uh, what is that, 55 from each of the battle furies. So, yeah, his items in total sort of equal that rapier. As well as, you know, 330 damage instead of just 300 from the rapier, but... That's beside the point. Big Papa Bear is beginning to push. He's beginning to outreach himself. But he won't go too hard. Not yet, at least. Makes his way back, playing it still very safe. And he should be able to actually bring down Mr. Cosito in the bottom lane. As he is pushing alone. And if he goes up with his illusions, he's just straight up dead. He actually is going to go up with his illusions. All these illusions. Sleight of Fist comes out. Mr. Cosito just gets annihilated. Annihilated. By the Ember Spirit. Holy... Oh my god. That's just a name... I... It's almost an obscene amount of damage. I don't think he even crit once during that time he was hitting the illusions. He just hit for a hell of a lot of damage. So now Ember Spirit. Though he's got the Divine Rapier, it's just... At this point, uh, he's got support coming down to the bottom lane too. Are they going to try to push up the high ground here? Using this push in the bottom lane to maybe try to secure some uh, some game dominance in the form of a Rax. It'd be a pretty ballsy maneuver at this point, but he does have a boots of travel to get himself out of there. So he pushes down the uh, bottom. Paul Tomil is pushing up top. And Ember... He's got to be the, the, do this very carefully, very surgically almost. But he's ready for it. The pings come out. They're going to go. An engineer already getting up to the tower, laying into it. Does Big Hot Bear have a remnant out of there? He doesn't at the moment. But he's ready for this. 
He's got his slate of fists ready to go. Prax XX is moving on in. Turco as well. Though Turco should just get immediately blown up. <laughs> okay, not immediately, but pretty damn close. Satanic finished by Brax. And it looks like they're just going to back themselves off. Yeah. He remnants and TPs, so I'm not sure this is a remnant TP, remnant back. Instead, he's pushing himself out of here. Meanwhile, Mr. Cosito's in for this one. But again, this could be problematic. Remember just the sheer amount of illusions he was able to spawn. But Box Tops goes in. He finds the duel. And now, in comes Ember Spirit. Goes in for it and finds a kill. This time, only 600 gold. And that just shows where this game's going. The lead starting to equalize out and go into the Dyer's favor. At least in terms of gold earned. So, I mean, that's a major problem for the tire when you're a main hard carry because the top of your net worth chart starts giving up less and less gold you know you're in trouble 800 gold for big papa bear what's he going to do with this uh is he going to get rid of a divine uh a daedalus or a battle fury or neither maybe he goes moon shard maybe he goes neither maybe he just kind of sits in the secret shop trying to figure out what to do honestly i get rid of a battle fury for a rapier that's just me and I have my reasons for it. It's mostly because at this point, he's going to want to start actually fighting instead of counter pushing. And this will come in handy. Looks like he's just going to buy a, a reserve rapier. That's, that's all right too, but when you look at it like this, all right, at this point in the game, Battle Fury is great and allows you to push. But what a having one Battle Fury isn't going to severely gimp you. In fact, the majority of your damage from this point onwards is going to be how much you can do to a single target immediately. So, looking at it like that, you almost want to imagine that going for two Rapiers, two Daedalus's, will be enough to pretty nearly have, if not completely destroy, anyone on the map. So that second battle, that second battle for you doesn't really give you that much. It gives you the damage and it gives you the 35% cleave. But the regular 35 from the one battle fury should be just enough that you need. It looks like an engineer could be in a little bit of trouble. He's got the Shadow Blade, so he gets away. He's still looking pretty starred for net worth. But he's now, instead of being last on the board, that's Miss Launch. He is actually it's third to last. Uh, Box Tops is also getting pretty high up on the net worth chart. Oh, man. If the Ember Spirit knew what was going on here, one sleight of fist in the pit. Or, okay, I guess multiple sleight of fists in the pit would easily, easily bring down the people going for the Roche right now. Maybe even get Roche himself. But it looks like they'll grab an Aegis and who gets it? It looks like Brax will be the one to pick up the Aegis. Though if once he drops all of his illusions, everything, BKBs, all that, an Aegis won't need much for a Chaos Knight. So I guess there's one little bit of solace in that, that once he dies once, unless he doesn't pop any of his spells, he's going to be useless pretty much in his second life. Or near useless, I guess, in retrospect or in relation to a Ember Spirit. So, an Engineer moving forward, putting down the Sentry Wards. So they have full vision of whenever the uh, Crystal Maiden comes forward. Meanwhile, Ember Spirit doing his best to continue fighting this one out, counter pushing out. They, have, they know where Paul Tamir is, though, and they'll bring him down immediately. Missile Launch as well. They want the duel onto him. They'll get it off. Maybe. No, not fast enough. Box tops. He's looking for the duel, though. Finds it out onto Brax. And just a sheer massive amount of damage comes out so far. Another sleight of fist will be flying out right now. Mr. Cosito getting cleaned up. But Big Papa Bear may be in a little bit of trouble. They pull back the engineer. Another sleight of fist will destroy Brax XX. In fact, it destroys all of his illusions. And then Big Papa Bear goes for the head. All four on the Radiant down. Brax will go ahead and buy back on into this game. But Big Papa Bear is not afraid of him. He's a big bear. <laughs> He's not afraid of anything. Though, you should probably be afraid of these mines. You take a look at... Oh, that's actually not a lot. Four remote mines. Each one, though, does about 700 damage. So, yeah, he should probably be afraid of that. And remember, if he goes down to these mines, that's a lot of gold he gives away to the techies. Them dire buildings are tough as nails. At now. this point, I kind of want to see how much gold he gives away. Did he remnant before he...
teleport out. Looks like he did. He doesn't want to lose his top rack zone. This is very smart coming out from him. So he clears that entire wave. Maybe he needs to go for the next one as well. And then can run it back and maybe try to take a fight. Instead, it looks like he'll continue to turtle up for now. Uh, sending out the extra boots of travel, though. But there's an engineer pushing in pretty much solo right now. As Big Papa Bear, his remnant's about to end. And it looks like it does. He doesn't end up getting back to the other side of the map, and that'll be it for now. Where did our Ember Spirit go? He went bottom. All right. Just keeping an eye on this guy. Wherever he goes, destructions are sure to follow. And that's a pretty decent item pick up for the Sniper, actually. Lincoln's here will keep uh, the Chaos Knight from just being able to immediately Reality Rift him and take him out of the fight. Meanwhile, Radiant moving down bottom. They know that Ember Spirit might just want to push this one out. So, in the meantime... Ember will slow push this one. Maybe look for a couple kills, but ultimately... Uh, okay, just kind of chickens out the last second. They had all four there, though, so I guess it, it's not too bad of an idea to get out of there. Sniper, meanwhile, hitting pretty quickly. Pushing out the majority that he needs to. He's saving the Lincoln Sphere in his inventory. Looks like he's going to switch it on to his person when things start getting hairy. But for right now, he's going pure on damage. Keeping the wards on for him for when he needs vision. The Big Papa Bear pushing out the top for uh, lane as well. Now, they do have a pretty decent assortment of uh, mines up here in the top. But nothing too fancy. And Brax makes his way up. But if he stays close to the creeps, he could just easily get blown to bits. <laughs> Now, the, the good thing here, I guess, for the Radiant side is that Ember Spirit's damage can't get any more. Like, unless he decides to go for the second Rapier instead of the Battle Fury, which, I mean, that's what I would do, but, I mean, I'm not playing in this game. Then uh, he doesn't do any more damage than he does right now. So maybe they can find a way to work around what he's doing right now. They have a good shot. But for right now, pushing is just going to be really, really grueling, really difficult. And require a hell of a lot of coordination. Because otherwise, they just get destroyed by an Ember Spirit. I almost want to say, go for something like an Orchid. Just pick up an Orchid. Anyone. Just do it. Because if you keep him from being able to maneuver around and do what he does, then maybe you can just bring down the Ember Spirit without a fight. So push up to the high ground. He's be very careful though. And so he'll leap forward and remnant himself back. Very careful play from him. 65 minutes in. Not looking to give away this, ma this huge, huge comeback that they've netted. It's becoming harder and harder for the Radiant too. I mean, this techie is continuing to mine. How, well, what's his mining pattern? He's just throwing mines out like... Yeah, Whatever. Coin. Not even keeping them close by so they can minefield sign them effectively. Just kind of throwing them out like they're cigarette points. Regardless, box tops moves in through the mid. Up in the top, it's going to be Big Papa Bear and company. They want to try to go for this extra push here. 1,800 crits coming out from the Ember Spirit. Moves on in. Now, he's going to have to go over a whole bunch of mines. Has to be very careful about how he does this. And while this is happening, looks like uh, the rest of the Radiant are reacting to this. Maybe he's trying to draw them up to the high ground. But the mines are starting to go bye-bye very quickly. And instead, they'll move on to other lanes. They'll push out other lanes. Keeping this one very steady. By the way, you remember a couple of games I casted ago? Where the particle effects start stacking up? Well, here you go. <laughs> there comes to a certain point 
where things just start getting ridiculous. And let, let's just let that soak in for a little bit. Look, Ma. I'm shooting with no gun. Oh, it's still coming from his muzzle. Okay, so that's that's one uh, that's one hell of a ricochet coming out from his uh, from his gun. Creeps are probably just like, "What the hell are you doing?" So that that makes sense. The TB animation. Okay, he's finally back to normal. All it took was a TB. Meanwhile, Amber Spirit down in the bottom lane. There are quite a few mines down here. Just like, seems like he took one of each and every mine and, and figured, why the hell not? Yeah, game is breaking again. Techie, stop mining, please. I agree, Big Papa Bear. I agree. <laughs> no. I don't even know what the what sound that is. I know it's like, uh... Like an Enya or something like that, but I don't know. This doesn't really matter. Lincoln Sphere already on an engineer. Helping him out of it. Box tops with the uh, full on Moonlight Shard or Moon Shard. Getting some decent night vision out from this. As well as a lot of attack speed on his already pretty high damage. If they win a fight and push down whatever lane... They have all it takes to immediately bring down the Ancient. Like, they just look at it and it crumbles. But they need to get to that point where they're able to push effectively and quickly. And it looks like going up against the Techies, that makes it kind of difficult. So, Mr. Kurosito will chase down an Engineer. And nothing much will come out of that from here. I mean, Big Papa Bear is just kind of holding back, playing it very careful. I don't blame him for this either. Like, this seems just pretty standard play right here. But we're 70 minutes into this one, and, you know, at this point, 70 minute games, you know, hello, my old friend. It's good to see you once again, I guess. But, Big Papa Bear makes his way down bottom. Looks like he wants to try. Really wants to try to bring this game to a close. But to do so, he's really got to find someone out of position. Maybe he finds Mr. Cosito. Way far ahead. Got no more items than he has previously. He's going to wait for some illusions to spawn. And then make his way in. Make his move. This would be it. Oh, missed it just by a little bit. We'll continue to chase, though. Maybe. Maybe not. Sends a rep uh, remnant back down to the below, uh, low ground. And... They know they've got no way for him to escape if they can surround him. He'll TP out, Big Papa Bear. He's not going to cancel it. Oh, man. So close. Big Papa Bear had the opportunity. Meanwhile, Paltamil goes down to the bottom lane, but it looks like the Dire need to go up to the top to defend. Oh, my God. Um... Speaking of Super Saiyan, I think our Ember Spirit has gone full Super Saiyan. This... That is actually awesome. Giant, it's like an IO. It's like, it's like a fire IO. Look at the damage he's doing out there. Not actually a hell of a lot. A BKV will be popped by Brax. And maybe just because of principle, they could uh, end this game right here. But Big Papa Bear is not going to let that happen as far as he's concerned. And we'll go ahead and continue this push out. The slow siege, though, happens in both the top and the bottom. And immediately, Cosito makes his way down bottom. Rough day for Dyer's bottom racks. Doing what he can to the racks, but in comes all these units ready for the right picking. Big Papa Bear now turning around and fighting him, and he brings down two! Paul Tomio also... We'll take a fall. Big Papa Bear just barely alive, but everyone dead on the Radiant. This is their push. All you need to do is grab a gem, go down mid, and win the game. Hell, grab a gem, throw it on one of these guys, and have them, you know, YOLO out the, uh, the mines. I don't care. 
Just do it. They've got time. 72 minutes in. Don't let this go 100 minutes, please. <laughs> Box tops will grab a heart. There are miners in the top lane. They are enough to kill. So they've got to be very careful of that. 61 commendations. Holy hell. Big Papa Bear. More like Big Papa Fire IO. Radiant structures must have been fortified. He's going to make his way. God, be very careful. Oh, the mines. No. Big Papa Bear. He gets past them all. And it looks like they did end up grabbing a gem. They're doing this. They actually figured it out. Hook up. What big Papa Bear going to care? He just turns on him. So now, I mean, this could very much be it. Missile launch running away. Can't escape from the Ember. Okay, it looks like she just did. But the racks will go down. And Dire. I mean, they can't take mid just yet. So it looks like they're just going to back themselves off, aside from maybe try for a tier 4, as they just, they, they say, okay, that's it. But they got Rax. And I guess that's the most they've been able to say about anything. Ninjaneer, he picked up the gem. He actually did it. And that's what happens. He's going to go down bottom now, try to create some pressure down bottom. Big Papa Bear, maybe he goes with him soon. 30 seconds before he can go down bot. Perhaps you should buy another, uh, another just because rapier. So, an engineer, down bottom, certainly has what it takes to solo this one out. But if he loses that gem, I'm gonna cry. Meanwhile, Big Papa Bear is just kind of standing still, box yeah, top as well. Eh, they're just chilling right now. Why not, right? I'm kind of doing the same thing. Just kind of chilling. I love this, by the way. Ember Spirit Arcana idea. Right here. Oh god, that hurts my eyes getting too close. It, it literally reminds me of Io. Just a very angry... You know... <laughs> Angry Io. I don't know. Do I have to go back to telling jokes again? Because that, that's not my strong suit. Hopefully we start to see some action soon. Big Papa Bear is doing really, really well right now. He's got the two rapiers. He's got two battle fears. He's got the two rape, um, Daedalus's boots of travel. Still want to see this rape, uh, battle fury go away for the second rapier. But beggars can't be choosers. And so he'll begin the push down bomb, the long, arduous task of finding another Rax here. And I guess the one downside is that he's not invincible still. He still will get manhandled if he takes way too much damage. And they're mass TPing down bottom. He's about to see some pretty heavy uh, harass, and he actually gets himself out of there. All right. So I guess backing away when the time things started to get rough. So, Big Papa Bear still holding on to this one. The rest of his supporting cast have done a really good job at holding on with him. But they still need to end this game. They still need to do something about the length of how long this is going on. And I think a major thing here is that Techies is no longer mining this top lane. This is big because now Ember Spirit, if you really want to, could just go in and wipe out the base. And I almost imagine they might be able to... Well, they can't base race this one. There's no way they can base race against a... Uh, against a Chaos Knight. Maybe they sack this Rax to try to do something. Looks like not. An Engineer is going to go ahead and TP back. A Glyph comes out. Lots of illusions. Lots of... Uh, cleave fodder. And you can see just what comes out. Brax will go down. Mr. Cosito might also go down. Big Papa Bear it might fall. He's actually gets very low. But he stays alive. 
You can see the sheer amount of damage that the PL was able to do to him, but he's still alive and kicking. And so, the Dyer hold on for another one. And maybe they push off this one. Maybe they push down mid. Mr. Cosito as well as Brax are down. Okay, not, not maybe they push. I hope they push off this one. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Cosito might buy back. Ember Spirit forcing the issue. They're all teleporting onto him. Maybe they end the game right here. Engineer TPing into him. They're going to go for more. They've got the freezing field down, though. Sniper sees him. Going to go straight on to him. Paul Tamil trying to run, but in comes the damage. So they start going out onto these tier 4 towers. Ninja Nier needs to start hitting them with them. They're going to glyph up. Big Papa Bear needs to get back. Mr. Cosito's back in the fray. And the Sniper, or the Ember Spirit, will make his way out of here. But Ninja Nier might be able to turn. Looks for a fight. Radiance mid tower. But they'll back themselves off. The tier 4 takes a little bit of damage, but that's about it. Do you think they turn again? Looks like they want to. An engineer's going to TP out of here. Maybe try to put some damage down in the bottom, but... I guess that, that looks like it's about it. So, another TP down to help out with, uh, with Big Papa Bear. Engineer, they both go down. Maybe they find a second set of racks here. They're feeling quite unstoppable. And, you know, I'm kind of surprised that Box Tops doesn't go with them, but at the same time, it makes a little bit of sense. They're going to run headfirst into Mr. Cosito here. This could be it, trouble. This could be trouble for Cosito. Big Pop Barry, he's got another sight of fist. He's going to go out, throw it out. The Booster Travel in is going to get immediately canceled. Now they go on to Cosito and they bring him down. 110 seconds. Green light, go. They could end this game right here, right now. They just need an engineer to start wailing away. Do they have any? They don't have any mines. Just the one remote mine. Radiant bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. So it looks like the bottom tier 3 tower will take way too much damage. It's going to go down. And it looks like Papa Bear, he spots it all. He's going to slay a fist through it all. And brings down Brax. But just like that, Big Papa Bear, he goes down. He's going to boot to travel in. Paul Tamir trying to do what he can. But Big Papa Bear comes in, buys back, brings back his rapier. And now they go after the barracks. Neither core has buyback. And they might go for the mid uh, tier fours right now. They started putting some pressure on them last time. But now they can go even more into them. And Big Papa Bear... Just wailing away. One, two, three, four. The towers are gone. Radiant Looks like Techie's going to buy back. Four. Sniper is there. Almost kind of wish Sniper bought the rapier or picked up the rapier. And then uh, Ember Spirit got his second. Mid -tower but, I mean, I know. I guess, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't unbreak the rapier. It doesn't even matter. Guys, this game is going to be over. Big Papa Bear and the rest of the Dire. They go in. And they bring it down. Radiant GG, well played. And for full disclosure, Big Papa Bear was a donator for this one. Very well played, man. Amazing 3v5. Good job. That was a pleasure to cast this one for you. So, that one's going to be over. We're going to upload that one with all the rest. For now, looks like uh, this matchup is done. So I'll catch you all next time.